Hi everyone, my name is Juan. Um, I work at, at Jealous Genesis, and today I'm going to tell you how we came to use MediaWiki as our documentation platform. So this uh, effort started in 2011. We wanted to get away from FrameMaker and PDFs. And at the time, we were also a successful su subsidiary of a failing larger company. So <laughs> our budget was zero dollars. So we looked to open source, and we eventually decided on launching a pilot program using a MediaWiki. We installed MediaWiki, and we took a few of our, ma our PDF manuals and um, recreated them as uh, MediaWiki pages. And um, this was pretty successful. People came to our site, they liked it, our developers liked it. So we next presented to our executive committee, our CTO and CEO, so we could continue this project. The number one question they had on their minds was, well, how much did you spend? And our director told them, well, we spent $500 and half of that was on a party we threw when we launched our site. <laughs> so they loved that and they're like, go ahead. This is a cheap project, see what you can do. Unfortunately, um, so we continued with uh, MediaWiki and we found that it had limitations as a documentation platform. Specifically, it was missing versioning and uh, permissions control. So are there any uh, people from Splunk here? Yeah, I saw a few of you. So um, we love you guys because at around that same time, Splunk put out an extension for MediaWiki called PonyDocs. And what PonyDocs does, it bridges that gap between MediaWiki and a full documentation platform. So we installed PonyDocs and we rehauled our entire site and this is what we have now. So PonyDocs gave us um, those few components that we were missing. It allowed us, allowed us to connect articles as uh, manuals and create these nice table of contents. It added versioning so that from, from, a, from a, an article, you could go to previous ver uh, versions of that same page. And it also added permissions. So now we could have a, a draft version of a page and a published version of that page. Before this, we, had, we were running two instances of MediaWiki, one internal, one external, we were creating drafts and public and um, exporting them and importing them to the published uh, media wiki. So that was really clunky. And using this, we can have just one version of media wiki running. And the last thing I wanted to mention about uh, media wiki as a documentation platform is that it's highly extensible. On this platform, we implemented contextual help. Uh, we've implemented localization. And if you're going to STC Anaheim this year, one of my coworkers is giving a talk on how we implemented uh, an integration between Jira and MediaWiki to automate release notes. So if you're looking for a cheap platform, consider MediaWiki and PonyDocs. Thank you.